All right, 13 artists, five different creative mediums, and the stories of 12 foster children who've transformed tragedy into hope. That's what Transcend is based on. I'm being joined by Holly Bowden, Bowden Art LLC founder, and Transcend producer Sarah Craig with Presbyterian Children's Home and Services, and Shane Capel with the Unicorn Agency. What Unicorn Agency joins me this morning. Thank you for being here. Now, I know you have a big event happening next Saturday, but let me know what the cause is behind the event. So the purpose of this event was to bring positive awareness to foster care. There are incredible children and loving caregivers who are working hard every day at Presbyterian Children's Homes and Services, or PCHAS, as we call PHAS. it for short. Okay. And uh, this event is a fun way to, with art, fashion, runway show, music, to bring awareness to those stories. And this is an incredible idea, but how did the idea come about? So Holly is a friend of mine and I always knew she did fun creative parties. So I asked her if she would partner with me and help create a positive way to bring awareness to Peachaz. Now Holly, I know that uh, you obviously throw good parties, so I hope yeah. they can have good parties <laughs> But you're actually telling uh, inspirational stories of these children through different mediums of art. So explain that quickly. Correct. So um, years ago I wanted to throw an event where I pulled multiple genres together to tell stories. So when I heard um, about Sarah's passion for uh, these children, their stories, and the good work of Peach has, I was like, oh, this is a perfect fit. So I had her send me the stories of, of the children. I reached out to a friend of mine, poet Karen DeVille, and I asked her to turn the stories into poems. And then I lined up artists to turn the poems into original works of art. And then I lined up fashion designers to turn the art into fashion. And then to cap it off, local um, editorial photographer Angela Tonson um, telling the stories through photography. That is something. One story, four different outlets. We're going to get a little sneak peek. We're going to take a look at the very first editorial photography for the first story. It's called Cutting Through the Noise. Talk to me about this one. This story is about a young woman who experienced a lot of abuse growing up. And as a result, she had a lot of deep internal pain and would at times self-harm. Uh, herself and she had loving foster parents at Peach has who helped her work through those issues and this is kind of a celebration of her coming through that. And we actually have the fashion also on a model so we can see it up close and personal as well and she's actually going to come out right next to the canvas art so and that is the one to her right correct? Yes absolutely the artist in collaborations and the designer and photographer wanted to convey a delicate innocence um, so with the organza fabric that angel like kind of floating above the chaos the hand wire, the handmade wire dress, uh, also conveying the chaos of her life and the abuse and breaking through it, thus cutting through the noise. And how did you get all these artists together for this one event? Oh, you know what? Once they heard what we were doing and why, and the stories, they did not even hesitate. So it's been very heartwarming watching really actually 20 artists, if you really think about it, coming together to tell these heartwarming stories about 12 children. We have another sneak peek of the editorial photography, another story, it is called The Right of Whitney. Yes, and Whitney is a young woman who, again, experienced abuse as a child and ended up kind of in several different homes, and she actually had an adoptive placement that failed, and then she came to Presbyterian Children's Homes and Services, and in her own words says they saved her life and helped her find confidence and, again, kind of come through that to be successful. It's really incredible taking the story and making it this beautiful art. Now we see the fashions. What a beautiful, I say a drape or even a, uh, what would you call that? It's it's really a cape. A so cape. very nice. This this story collection portrays a strong young girl overcoming hate and evil in her life. Um, she stands victorious and she's not, uh, she stands uh, proud and fights for others. This cape represents, there's dark colors on one side, it's interchangeable. The dark colors convey the past and memories. The inside are more of those bright, vibrant colors that talk about kind of that new life and positive and again, overcoming and becoming victorious. Oh, and that canvas is incredible. Now Shane, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you in here. You're involved, um, obviously with the event, but what inspired you to jump on board? Uh, well, honestly, um, my owner, Brooks, with White Unicorn Agency, brought me in for the creative brief to talk about about the project um, and it kind of hit a note with me because I actually was in foster care as well. So I grew up in foster care from 7 to about 13 and I was actually on um, WFA Wednesday's Child too in, back in 2002 which is really cool. Um, so yeah it was kind of cool, a full circle I could come back um, with my creative passion to help out with other projects that are funding something that I, I went through personally myself too. How are so. things going today? Uh, it's going really well actually. I mean I get to work on lots of amazing projects, I get to meet really cool people influencing <laughs> things I'm really passionate about so it, it works out really well. Oh, I love that we can share the the full circle here. Yeah. Before before we run out of time, I want to show um, your last fashion here, and this really is the theme for the event. Correct. Uh, this piece is uh, based off a poem called 
bending, uh, bending time. It, it, it talks about bending time going back in time to shower these children with the love that they should have experienced in the first place. So in this costume, I wanted to create a goddess type be being that actually could possess the power to do that very thing. Okay, that is something right there. I love this, guys. What you're doing, there's so much meaning behind it and so many different ways of art. And, of course, this is next Saturday, so if your schedule's free, well, now you have something to do, but let us know how we can attend the event. So uh, you can go to my website, which is Holly Voden, V as in Victor, O-D-E-N dot com forward slash transcend. Okay, I'm going to give that to you one more time so you can buy tickets to hollyvoden dot com slash transcend. Just repeated what she said, but if you can't make it to the event, there's still an opportunity for you to donate. Again, it's next Saturday at the South Side at Lamar. It's the Artist Quarters. I'm going to give you that website to donate right now. It is uh, giving dot P C H A S dot org. There we go. Slash transcend. Thank you so much.